like the cold drain In my two hands saying no thanks Like anyway it goes cause I know things They shouldn't have told me Now I'm thinking what for Hanging by a sentence at the drugstore Barely even steady out the front door Hate my own shit but I love yours Fuck I really love yours Thank you for uh, coming by and watching the video. I hope you're enjoying it so far. This is my back and buy routine. I've had to redo this commentary a few different times because I'm just giving way too much information. It sounds like a damn lecture. <laughs> so I'm going to try to keep it uh, fairly brief with the specifics. Uh, but I'm going to talk about just a lot of broad topics here. Uh, my routine, my split, why I train the way I do. Um, and I guess just and then I'll talk more specific about the movements at the end, but not too much. I don't I just don't want anyone to walk away from this like just not knowing what to pull from it because there's just so much information. So I drove up to the gym. It was like 10 p.m. Uh, I recommend you training in the morning. You'll feel a lot. I, this is personal experience. I think you'll feel a lot better with uh, your productivity throughout the day because you already have your workout done. Um, and there's been different studies. I, I say studies in quotations here. You couldn't see me do the gesture, but there's quotations. Uh, I always hear people say that you'll burn more throughout the day once you um, once you work out in the morning. It raises your metabolic rate or something. It just your body well, it jump starts your body and says, "All right, we're ready to go," and it wakes you up and everything. Uh, I feel like that's true, but I'm not going to sit here and say that I've like done any type of test to really prove that. I do feel better when I work out first thing in the morning. Uh, the biggest thing with working out, though, is it's just if you work out in the morning, middle of the day, or at night, just get it done. Um, fitness is very, you have to be very consistent. It's a consistent lifestyle, uh, and that's what's going to yield the best results. So I drove up, I ran, um, I run at the beginning of every workout, unless my legs are just completely toasted, then I listen to them and I don't run. Uh, there's a difference between they're sore and there's a difference between like you need to not run because you're 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 fatiguing you're exhausting your muscles and uh i don't hit that very often because i'm not i'm not just doing explosive training every day i train i change everything i'm doing all the time so my body never get used to it and it's always just uh improving with some of the strength um overall and uh, which i think leads to better muscle growth that's just my opinion uh, take that for what it's worth so i run at the beginning get a good sweat going uh, puts me in the right mindset. I went and hopped up on the pull-up bar, um, and I just I just warm up my body that way. If it was a, if it was a chest day, I, I would run first, and then I would do some push-ups. Just get everything working. Now, um, the way I work out my back is um, I, I subdivide it in about two different categories, and you'll see those throughout this entire video. I have uh, pull type exercises, such as the one being shown on screen right now. And I think the pull exercise, and again, this is just based off of what in my experience and 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 how I've learned through uh, through training. Um, pulling exercises kind of work from in between your shoulders to the middle meat part of your back, um, along with the lat, and that's that is what kind of builds the thick back. What a lot of people go for, um, and when I say people, I mean like usually men going for like the wide shoulders and the little waist. Uh, then you have vertical movements, which are going to work everything along your spinal column from your neck to your uh, tailbone area. Yeah, so it'll work everything in a vertical movement. 
And uh, I've personally found that's kind of what makes everything get gets everything real ripped up. For example, um, calisthenic movement or a calisthenic base exercise, a body weight exercise, and a back movement is a pull up. It's it's super notorious. It's like one of the best workouts ever. You do a lot, a lot of pull ups. You'll see people with incredibly d- defined backs. Um, it works pretty much everything. That vertical movement, that pulling motion from a uh, overhead stance works all of your back. It has to stretch everything out, and the pulling makes everything contract. So when I think, when you think vertical, think spinal column, everything in between. When you do rowing or pulling at yourself, think in between the meat part of your back. As you, as your muscles grow more, and as you stimulate um, these muscles, you'll be able to fill these. Extra, you'll be able to fill everything that's being worked. And it will help you listen to your body, so to speak. A lot of mind-muscle connection, you'll hear that term thrown around. You have to listen to your body. I mean, li- literally get in tune with it. I do a lot of r- weird cues and concentration types things while I'm working out, such as this with the hands by my head and uh, staring forward and just the way I'm looking around and stuff. I'm just focusing on my lower back, um, which is an incredibly, uh, which is incredible um, part of your body to work because it's going to help your your just development of your hips, your lower abs, um, yes, your lower back will supplement your lower ab development. And um, I, again, it's just part of listening to your body. That's kind of what I've done over the course of my experience in the gym, uh, anything fitness related, sports related. And just I think that's what's helped me and yielded the best results personally. I've been working out for a few years now. Um, I say a few years, uh, six years now. And I would say known more what I'm doing pretty much every year. So, um, yeah, take that for what it's worth. Um, working some bicep movement here. It's a natural secondary muscle that's worked with your back during these vertical movements and these pulling movements. And genetically, I've kind of always had more developed arms than I would say a majority of my body. My legs have always been pretty well developed, but next to that would be my arms. So I don't, I don't, I try to never put a whole lot of heavy weight on my arms because I just, I, I think it's more of a mental block. I probably should try to play with it a little bit, but the heavier weight you lift the lower rep range and stuff, your body's going to, it tears deeper in your muscle and your body rebuilds it and makes it bigger. That's how your muscle works um, and through, through my experience. So what I'm doing here is lifting a little bit lighter but lifting a lot of weight. So it carve, it kind of carves the muscle a lot of, it makes it more, I guess, ripped up so to speak. And I'm that's what I'm trying to do with my arms. So I don't do a whole lot of bicep movement for that reason. Uh, so you saw the the running, you saw me warm up, you saw the vertical movements, the the pulling movements, um, you saw a little bit of the bicep movements there. I work abs, like I said, pretty much every day. Um, I believe I said that in this take, but I pretty much work my core every day. I listen to it though. If it's incredibly exhausted, I don't I don't work it hard. I, I just keep everything in line. Um, on back days, I tend to work it pretty well because I'm working the back side of my body and to supplement it, I try to work what corresponds to that and that'd be the front side, so my uh, abdominal area. I also work it pretty heavy on uh, calisthenic based or body weight days where I'm doing nothing but body weight exercises. Um, but yeah, I did some uh, leg raises. I did some, some side bends. I'm not sure what to call those. I did more leg raises and I did more side bend type stuff working the oblique. Um, I do pretty much five sets on everything. With core, it's more of a three to four um, because I'm doing usually around 25 reps on everything. Uh, But for the typical weightlifting stuff, I do five sets. I do a pyramid style. I start with lighter weight, work uh, work heavier. As I increase in weight, I decrease in rep range. I think I'm going to start a reverse pyramid style training soon, but I'll talk about that in a different video. Um, Overall, I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, um, and I guess I'll just... uh, leave you guys to watch the rest of the video and some of the uh, more cardio based stuff I do. But uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like comment below. If you have any questions, timestamp it, I'll try to respond and give you the best possible answer. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching.
myself waking in the same clothes Shaking from my temple to my ankles Sunny, but I need another raincoat Waiting by a payphone Finally, I coughed up Some awful information that I thought of Well, they think I've been messing with the wrong stuff Nah, I've been messing with the right shit Yeah, I fucking like it Turn to black, but I'm brighter when you make me